Well, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with West Brom reporter Steve Maidley. Steve, lovely win in the FA Cup, but it's back to more important things and Premier League survival, obviously. Uh, how are things looking for the weekend with the visit of Spurs? Fitness-wise, uh, everything's looking uh, looking good, uh, with the possible exception of Bo- Boaz Myhill, who played in the FA Cup game at Birmingham last week and, and dislocated a finger. So he's touch and go, which means that Jack Rose, who's a young academy um, goalkeeper, may well be on the bench as deputy to Ben Foster. Everyone else is, has certainly got a chance of, of, of figuring. Tony Poulis, fantastic start. Three wins and a draw. Can't ask for much more, but it's so important to keep that momentum going. Yeah, and, and it's a cliche, I know, but it's, it's been such fine margins. <laughs> to a large extent, the games haven't been very very much different to, to how they were under, under Alan Irving, but Albion have defended a, a little bit better at key moments. They've had a bit of fortune here and there, and consequently, they're, they're unbeaten under Tony Pulis. And as you say, he'll want to keep that going. But this is probably, in a football sense, his toughest test so far. New signing on board, Callum McManaman. What are the chances of seeing him? Uh, I, th- I think he'll certainly be involved in some, some capacity, um, whether it's from the start we'll find out probably more likely to be from the bench um, having had the whirlwind of signing, signing this week possibly not, not from the start but yeah I'm sure he'll be in the squad Spurs doing really well but if it's a good time to play them obviously they came through a, a gruelling League Cup game in midweek so they might be a little bit tired taking advantage of that yeah, absolutely. And, um, Albion over their their Premier League history, if, if you like, have got a reasonably good record against Spurs compared to against the other the other big boys. So they won't be daunted by it, I don't think, especially with Pulis and the impact he's he's made since he came in. As you say, Spurs, you never quite know what you're going to get from. Them. They are in good form at the moment, but they're always capable of throwing a below par performance, aren't they? And Albion will be hoping this is one of them. Any more transfer targets that you you've heard about? Uh, no new ones at the, at the moment, but um, a, a couple which are go- who are going el- elsewhere. Um, Shadow Amiobi um, signed for Crystal Palace yesterday. He was only ev- ever really a backup target, but but he was there in, ca- in case the uh, the other strikers that, that, that they're looking at, whose names we haven't actually discovered yet, fall through. And Darren Fletcher, we're told, um, is going for a medical at West Ham th- this afternoon. Tony Police was very keen to get Fletcher, so that that will be a, I think, more of a blow than than Amiobi. And you can hear plenty more from me and Steve before, during and after the Spurs game exclusively here at expressandstar.com.